The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. 18th Rose, the Hail Mary Blessings. This heavenly salutation draws up down upon us the blessings of Jesus and Mary in abundance, for it is an infallible truth that Jesus and Mary reward in a marvelous way those who glorify them. They repay us a hundredfold for the praises that we give them. I love them that love me, that I may enrich them that love me and fill their treasures. Jesus and Mary have always said, we love those who love us. We enrich them and fill their treasuries to overflowing. He who soweth in blessings shall also reap blessings. Now, if we say the Hail Mary properly, is not this a way to love, bless, and glorify Jesus and Mary? In each Hail Mary, we bless both Jesus and Mary. Blessed art, art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. By each Hail Mary, we give Our Lady the same honor that God gave her when he sent the archangel Gabriel to greet her for him. How could any one possibly think that Jesus and Mary, who often do good to those that curse them, could ever curse those that bless and honor them by the Hail Mary? Both St. Bernard and St. Bonaventure said that the Queen of Heaven is certainly no less grateful and conscientious than gracious and well-mannered people of this world. Just as she excels in all other perfections, she surpasses us all in virtue of gratitude. So she would never let us honor her with love and respect without repaying us 100-fold. Saint Bonaventure says that Mary will greet us with grace if we greet her with the Hail Mary. Who could possibly understand the graces and blessings which the greetings and tender re regard of Our Lady affect in us? From the very first instant this, that Saint Elizabeth heard the greeting that the Mother of God gave her, she was filled with the Holy Spirit, and the child in her womb leaped for joy. If we make ourselves worthy of the greeting and blessings of Our Lady, we shall certainly be filled with graces and flood, and a flood of the spiritual consolations will come down into our souls. First Proverbs. 8, 17, 21, and 2 Corinthians 9, 6. Well, those are the blessings. And on the 19th rose, we will be talking about happy exchange. Do you wonder what happy exchange might be? Well, come back and listen to the 19th Rose of The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. Pray for me as I continue to pray for you.